This video is going to show you how to create, customize, and add a PayPal payment button to your web page or sales page for selling digital products. Now, in order to best understand this, let's walk through the entire purchasing process first. Your visitor goes to your sales page, they read all about your widget, gadget, thingamabob, and they fall in love with it. They come on down to the payment button, they click on it, they're taken to the PayPal payment page where they give you money, and then they're automatically directed to your download page where they begin to download all of their purchased goodies. And this entire process, when done properly, is automatic. Kind of a set it and forget it situation. Now, a few things you are going to need in order for this video to help you out. And that's the web page or sales page that you want to put the PayPal payment button on, the download page that your buyer will be sent to after payment, Plus, you're going to need the URLs to these. That's this guy here for the download page and this guy here for the sales page. And you're going to need the URL to the image because we're not going to use the default PayPal button. We're going to customize that and instead use this because this matches the, the look and feel of our site. And of course, you will need a PayPal account too. So let's go ahead and log into our PayPal account and create our button. Now once you're logged in, you come on up here to the Merchant Services link and go ahead and left click on that. Then right here we've got the Create Payment Buttons for your websites. Go ahead and click on that. And by the way, if you're in a different country than the U.S., then your pages might look a little bit different than what I'm showing you here in this video. If you're unable to poke around and kind of find the right spot, then you might need to contact the customer service for PayPal in your area and have them kind of walk you through the process of what I'm demonstrating here in this video. So at this point, we've got three options. The one we're going to be working with is option one. So go ahead and click on create a button. And the type of button we're going to be creating is the buy now button. You've got these other options here, but that's the makings of a different video. So let's go ahead and give it a name. And I'm not going to give it an item ID. That comes in handy if you've got an inventory to, to work with. The price, give it whatever price you feel is worthy of your awesome thingamabob. And then choose the currency. And I'm going to keep things simple here, so I'm not going to go into multiple prices or adding drop-down menus. There's all kinds of cool stuff you can do, but we're going to keep things pretty simple and basic. And right now, this is how the default button looks. You can customize the text or appearance of that button right here. And that's what we're going to do by adding our own button image down here. But just to let you know, you do have some other customizations available for you using just the default button. You can change that to a smaller button. You can display the credit cards or not. I prefer to display them just to let the buyers know that they can make this purchase even if they do not have a PayPal account. And you could also change the text from buy now or pay now. But that's that. We're going to go ahead and check this radio button here to use our own image. And let's grab that URL right here. And by the way, before you get to this point, you should always double check your URLs to make sure they're correct by pasting them in your browser window. Because it's better for you to find out that they're not right than for a potential buyer to let you know, hey, I couldn't send you money because such and such wasn't working right. Okay, so that's right. And I'm going to put that URL right here. And don't wait around for it to show up over here in the customer's view box because it never does. Now we want to come on down here. And if you are going to put in shipping or taxes, then you've got the options here. But usually with a digital product, neither of those are going to apply. And here you want to make sure you have this top option checked where you're using your secure merchant account ID. And if you are tracking inventory, then you've got this step two you can work with but that's not what we're working with. So we're going to skip step two, go straight to step three. And this is where we add our URLs for the download page and for our sales page. In case they cancel somewhere in the process of making this payment, then they're automatically redirected back to the sales page, just in case you want them to reread this stuff. You might also opt to have some kind of a email capture form URL here instead, totally up to you. But this is the big guy here. This is the one that you want to make sure that you have correct. So especially here, you want to test these to make sure they're working properly. Good to go. So that goes right here. Make sure you tick that box, otherwise that's not going to work. And this other stuff up here, do you want to let your customers change the order quantities? No. And can your customer add special instructions? Sure, why not? They rarely do, but just in case. And do you need your customer shipping address for a digital product? No, we do not. And the advanced variables, you can do a lot of cool stuff with this, but that's beyond the scope of this video, so we're going to leave it alone. Click on Create button, and we're in the home stretch. 
Basically, all we do at this point is simply click our mouse in there. It automatically selects everything. We right click, left click on copy to put it into our clipboard. So now let's go ahead and open up our sales page in our HTML editor. And I'm using Composer. And let me see here. Let's go ahead and go to the split view so I can show you the code down at the bottom and the actual image area up here at the top. Let's scroll on down to the pavement button right here. Go ahead and select that. Now we come on up here to insert. Come on down to HTML and we want to select this. And now we want to paste over this the code that we have in our clipboard from our PayPal button. Click on insert and that is our PayPal button right there. Come on up here, click on save. And now we're ready to upload our new index page to our server and overwrite the existing one. I'm going to go ahead and open up FileZilla. Let's go ahead and refresh this just to make sure we're still connected. Yep, okay. So this is the existing sales page that is not edited. This is the edited sales page here. Let's go ahead and right click and left click on upload or I could just left click hold and drag it over there. And I want to overwrite the existing one so click on OK. And we're done with FileZilla. Let's get this out of the way. And we're done with PayPal, so I'll log out of that here in just a second. But let's come on back to our sales page. And as you can see, as I hover over this, the mouse is not changing, so it's still the old one. We need to refresh the page. And now as I hover over it, you can see that the pointer is turning into a hand, which means that's a clickable image now. If we click on that, it takes us to PayPal, hopefully. There we are. And here's our PayPal payment page for our demo thingy. We make our payment then we're automatically redirected to our download page and everybody's happy. And that brings us to the end of this video on creating, customizing, and adding a PayPal payment button to our sales page. Thanks for watching and you have a great day.